Good morning campers, it's Uncle Rick Meister returning. Uh, I've got a couple of items coming today and I just thought I'd unbox them. Wanted to do it really quick. Don't know if I'm going to get a chance to review these today, uh, but there is a review sort of just gone up through night on the uh, the eight girl figure, so check that one out. That should see you right for a couple of days until I'm, uh, until I'm back up today, but I've got a few things planned, so I just wanted to do these pretty quick. If only the first one's arrived, so what I'll do is I'll film this now while I'm unboxing it, and then I'll show you what else is arriving later via UPS. So, as you can see, this one's, you can see the AMS on there, so you know it's from Hong Kong. It's from uh, my uh, friend in Hong Kong, international super spy, Anthony Sang, sent me this on Monday. I realised he posted about fucking 12 of them, how it seemed. I thought I'd get it because I got some money in PayPal, sold Zod, and I thought I'll get this and then if I like it I can keep it, if not uh, I will sell it, so that is still the plan. I have seen the pictures and I do really like it. So, and I will say as well that a couple of my friends on Facebook, I always play a little game with a um, little bit of community going on over on uh, the Reviewer King page on Facebook, add me if you haven't already, formerly known as the Clipper King but I had to change it for legal reasons. Um, when I've got something coming, I'll, I'll pretty much say how many things I've got coming or try to give a clue away on what I've got coming. Ah, I know what that is. Give a clue away as to what's coming and then let them try and guess. Pretty much, I said i got two things coming, pretty much everybody guessed that this were one of them, but the second one, still nobody's guessed it, so, yeah. He's uh, chucked me in a secret base bag, beautiful. I've got some, uh, bags already so it'll go nicely with them so yep nice that is a new stand for the uh Mienta bay jordan figure because for some reason the bottom, bottom section that broke so it kept like sagging down so i said if he ever saw one pick me one up and send it so yep i've bought that off him and he sent me that with this now i might have to put a short pause in get this bitch out but anybody with any knowledge any hot toys knowledge you'll figure that out and there you go he's out he's out to all bubble wrap as you can see load of bubble wrap when you buy out from uh, Anthony so you know it's coming packaged and the figure is the elder predator as most of you on Facebook guessed let's just uh, slide it up let's have a look a little look no artwork really. Nice picture on the front though. That lovely orange effect it's got. Anybody who knows Predator Line knows the first version of Elder Predator from Pred 2 were a bastard to get hold of and it was expensive as shit. So I get a feeling that might be the case with this one if it's any good. That's a game and packaged. It's in there. There's accessories in there which don't look that many. So we'll do. Should we open him up? Let's open him up. Have a look at him in flesh. Hey, we're open. We've got clam art. I've got to say, first look at that head sculpt. You can see all these little fucking spikes on his face. It's a very delicate feeling there. And his little beard here, because that's hard. I thought it'd be very soft rubber, but it's not. It's hard. And there. Oh, sir, it does look pretty cool, yo. And you've got more stuff than I thought, although they look like trophies, some more trophies. Hands, hands, interchangeable blades, his sword, and his pistol, and his destruction manual, and his stand. So we'll get him out and I'll get him reviewed as soon as possible. I'm not sure when that'll be. I've got to say though, first appearance or first impressions does look pretty badass and a little bit different. So, like I said, that's the first unboxing. I'm just waiting for UPS to get their asses down my street and bring me my next uh, figure of the day. Right, welcome back. Box number two has just arrived. So, they're nice. I will also say, Joe Turner, my decals have now arrived, buddy. And he said he posted them on Thursday, I think he said. But they've only just come. 
so just want to show you and I do want a couple more from you so thanks Joe Turner for that people do ask as well where'd you get your decals from Joe Turner look on my Facebook page down my friend, uh, friends list and you'll find him there and he, he uh, does me them I think they're about four quid and then about 60 pence for stamp and obviously if you want a few the four quid a piece but uh, you only pay for stamp ones so just thought I mention that right so this is the next box that's come I will say this time it says sideshow collectibles but it's not actually from them it's actually one I found myself I asked Anthony to get me a price on this other day because it's a figure I've been thinking about getting for about two or three months and you'll understand why when you see it it's probably not in fact I think there isn't one single review of this on YouTube I think there's a video where somebody's got it and customised it, but it's not a full review. So I was thinking about getting it, and in the end I thought, fuck it, I'm going to get it, because I really want it, and I've got ideas of what I want to do with it. So this is basically the base figure, and in the mail already, I've got some stuff coming from uh, Hong Kong via eBay, and I've also picked some stuff up off uh, Collectible Kit Bash, what I will talk about more of when I arrive at that. That will probably be here tomorrow, but that is going to be stuff that I want for this figure to do the idea I want. So, like I said, I did get in touch with Anthony. Can you find me this? It's an exclusive, uh, and I think it might only be available over there, but um, he couldn't even, or he could find it, but he couldn't get it for sort of around the price I wanted to pay for it. So in end, I just searched and searched and searched, found it in Belgium or all places. I know what you're thinking, fucking Belgium, what's in Belgium? Well, this figure were, but it's not no more. So this is where I found it. I'm gonna get to the peanuts out, I'm gonna show you what's inside. Right, here we go. He's out from the outer packaging. All peanuts are gone, and here's proof that there's more in Belgium than fucking waffles. Looking down, you can see, damn toys emblem probably gives it away you probably start to understand why i want this figure i will turn it around and give you a better clue i will say as well i put this on facebook other days anybody know i've got coming and not one person even fucking guessed it and i'm not surprised do you recognize the artwork it is the exclusive version from hong kong or singapore i think it was last year it's the dev group which i understand is the uh, army abbreviation for development group from the navy seals the red team, like I say, it were an exclusive. Not bothered about any of that shit. I'm not into military figures as such, but this one took me eye for a simple reason. You probably recognise that artwork, and you probably recognise that artwork. Some shots of the figure, looking sweet. I will say, I've looked and looked and looked at the production shots of this picture, and it just totally twisted my arm into getting it. I thought, fuck it, there's loads of stuff I can use in there. I've got some outfits coming, um, and you will see more on them when I get them. I want some massive shout outs when I get them. The, most re uh, the biggest reason I got this figure were quite simple. Just look down over it. You probably recognize this fella's face. Well, you won't recognize him, but you'll recognize the styling. Take this bag off. He's saying Uncle Rickster. Looks like one of your gangsters kingdom figures. You're fucking right it does. This is the fucking missing member, my friends. This will be customised up to look just like one at Spade Gang or Diamond Gang, whichever. Or maybe just a fucking mercenary it might be. Look at that, that is beautiful. I will say as well, that fucking coat feels sweet. Nice looking figure. Even, I'll come up with his own name. Nice backstory for him. Get him all outfitted up. Give him some weapons sorted. That is nice. He even looks a little bit like me, the handsome bastard. Yeah, receding airline. Deep set eyes. Lovely jaw. Um, yeah, lovely strong jaw. And a fucking sweet looking beard. He could have modelled that fucker on me. Some people will say, which actor is it supposed to be? I don't, I don't fucking know. I ain't got a clue. Don't get two shits. Like I said, look at that. That's a lovely piece, that. It's got the gangster style hands. And this box, I'm thinking, is fully loaded. So we've got his Oakleys, got a camcorder, his woolly hat, some gloved hands. That's tray number one. Let's bring this bitch out just to get a full view of what you're getting. Fucking all them. Headset, I might even use that with Bane. Nice headset. And gun there, the sights, shotgun. 
all his accessories, walkie talkie, gun and holster in there. Fucking all these. I've seen these before, I'm not into these damn toys military figures. I've got to say, they're looking pretty good. I don't know what's inside there. I'm not going to open them one-handed. We've got two boxes full of merchandise in there. Se secret parts of merchandise. Probably outfit or some rigging or some shit like that, I'm thinking. But I've got to say, I'm more than happy with that. And of the two figures I've got coming today, this is the one I'm buzzing about most. So, like I say, come up with some names. Give him a backstory. It might even be, might even be movie-based. And this game's set up with others, getting a nice review on it. I've got to say, that figure is so much better than I fucking thought it was going to be. And that head sculpt is, like I say, a little bit round. Look, oh, it's like a fucking receding hairline, like Uncle Clipper. His hair's probably a bit browner than mine, because mine's greying a little bit now. <laughs> it's fucking strong and handsome, beautiful. So, yep, yeah, they're the two figures I've got today. I've got some... Um, some accessories coming through post, might show you them when they get here, or I might just add them to the review on this guy. But the reviews will be coming over the next couple of days, so keep tuned to my channel. You don't want to miss a trick, that's what you don't want to do. You don't want people to be talking about stuff you haven't seen, so you've got to fucking stay tuned. You've got to keep your finger on pulse and be down with kids like I am. But for now, this is Uncle Clip, a mini clipper, and we're out of here.